Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, star travelers of the galactic nations of the universal tribe of the 144. The energy through the earth and universe unravels and travels in a spiral. The vortex flows through your sacred vessel as a double toroidal field of electromagnetic potential. The rainbow bridge is the portal that connects the physical with the non-physical heaven with earth. As world bridgers, we travel in between worlds through the zero point at the heart center and through the central channel we call Katika or Shashumna. This is the main channel that connects all energies through the infinite multiverse. With the energies of the new moon and Taurus and solar eclipse, the portal is still open, bringing in massive waves of higher codes and keys for full compression breakthrough. We had multiple spikes coming in, appearing as pulses of white light on the Schumann charts at magnitudes of 26 hertz, 20 hertz, 27 hertz, 26 hertz, and a big blast at 35 hertz. Gaia continues to get flooded with 5D gamma plasma waves for her ascension process. As she rises, we rise with her. We raise the frequency with the power of our almighty I Am Presence and with the pure intent of our thoughts and our divine will to hold the visions of heaven on earth, the paradise of the new golden age of eternal life. With the empowered awareness of our cosmic diamond mind, we cut through, dissolve, and resolve all negative imprinting and implants that keep humanity's energy down. With the diamond sword of truth, we sever all false cords and connections to all delusions and illusions of Maya. No thing is holding us back from eternity other than the false beliefs and perceptions of negative thoughts and feelings. We uplift, empower, and activate ourselves and all humanity in this great shift of the ages. We shine the light of hope and faith into every dark corner of every hidden realm to reveal and release all that is out of harmony with nature, the Tao. This is the way of ascension and freedom from the known of all nefarious projections and manifestations. As conscious co-creators of the new earth, it is up to all ground crew avatars that lowered their soul star spark into these earthen vessels to change the world from inside this simulation of reality. As we realize our Buddha nature of pure awareness, we transition into our multidimensional rainbow bodies of infinite light. Keep rising in the love, bliss, and joy held within our sacred heart space. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor. Share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. This helps to get our Gnosis and energy out to more of our team of the 144,000 Christed ones of heaven on earth. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 8 degrees, 21 minutes Gemini. The sun is at 12 degrees, 42 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 13 degrees Taurus. A porter carrying heavy baggage. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 9 degrees Gemini. A quiver filled with arrows. From astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck, Sacred Rebels from Alana Fairchild and Autumn Sky. And the card she pulled for you today, card 16, What You Want Wants You. Do you dare to believe that what you want is also wanting you? The genuine desires of your heart are the sacred purpose of the soul, swathed in pleasure. Yet if you have been shamed, judged for, made to feel guilty over, or denied your natural desires or pleasures in any way, you may have developed a very tricky and complicated relationship with the yearnings of your heart. 
We often learn to distrust our own desires and come to believe that they are something to be overcome or avoided. We may even try to want second best, this believing that we are worthy of our first choice and what we really want, genuinely want, and would fulfill us deeply. Perhaps we have conditioned ourselves to believe that getting what we want is for others, not us. This oracle comes with a healing message for you. First, trust in what you truly want, not the substitutions and make-dos, but what would truly bring a sense of passionate, playful purpose and fulfillment to your life. You might not know anything more than I want to sing, or I want to write, or I want to help animals, or I want to paint. Start with what you know and hold it in your heart as you do the healing process below. If you genuinely do know what your heart wants, you will very much enjoy the process of exploring your desires by making gentle and persistent inquiries of yourself. Ask yourself what it is that truly moves you. Give this matter consistent attention without forcing a response. Your answers may come in a sudden flood or slowly over time. As you get to know your genuine desires and give yourself permission to feel and receive them, a powerful sequence is set in motion from the depths of the universe. Your desire hurdles its way towards you as the perfect manifestation. It is coming to you even now, manifesting itself as the best situation or relationship or circumstances to bring fulfillment to your heart, radiance to your life path, and a creative awakening. So don't give up. Keep dreaming of your fulfillment, but don't imagine it as always awaiting you in some distant future. Instead, play with what it will feel like to be so fulfilled right now. How will you feel different? Will you be more grateful, more peaceful and content, more confident, more trusting of your ability to create, and in the loving responsiveness of this wild universe? Cultivate those feelings. Get to feel what genuine desire and the meaning of that desire that can then generate yet new desire. It is like for you. Give yourself permission to go there right now. Remember that if you have people in your life who are shutting you down, suggesting that what you want is not possible or that you are aiming too high, then they need this healing too. Perhaps you can inspire them by giving yourself permission to heal. This will naturally open them to the idea that they could give themselves permission to know and fulfill their unique desires too. Whether someone chooses to be inspired by you or to be fearful of your innate creative power is completely up to them. This oracle brings you the message that whether you see it coming or not, your desire is already on its way to you. It is closer than you think and soon you will be able to see it, touch it, feel it and enjoy it. You will then become inspired for your next manifestation based on the true desires of your heart. Healing Process Repeat this statement three times with feeling. What I want wants me, and I am open, willing and capable to receive it through unconditional love now. We had a beautiful sunset today in the sacred portal. It began with golden hues then transformed into pink and violet rays. It looked like an ocean of waves upon waves of heavenly light. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Elizabeth Peru. Are you feeling the shift as May begins? It's our first true Cosmic Power Month of 2022. Many in our community of light will experience a welcome life turnaround this month. In the eclipse doorway with two planetary bodies in retrograde and a full blood moon total lunar eclipse, self-responsibility will be key. From ElizabethPeru.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light Pars Kute, New energies are entering our lives. Changes are happening for us. Things are getting better. Everything is aligning. Blessings are coming. With Divine Love of One Pars Kute, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, many of you are here to alchemize at the highest level between the polarities of extreme love and extreme pain, of fire and water, of matter and spirit. This has been the dance between the masculine and feminine polarities that have separated us. 
along with the transmuters, many of you are divine blueprint holders. All of us have a unique divine blueprint, a template for your fully awakened self. But the divine blueprint holders are actively tuning into it and retrieving the codes of awakening that are unique to them. To embody their codes and send them forth through the crystalline grid, the human heart grid, through service or love in any form, in order to neutralize the inversions and perversions. Much of this has been in preparation for the new Heros Gamos templates that ground today. So much love, Valerie. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Raylene Brady. This eclipse cauldron is shining a beacon on secrets and hidden agendas, dissolving deep-seated wounds within the collective unconscious. As our crystalline memory banks undergo deep remembering and the unification of hearts and minds, we only get what we are ready for, no more or no less, as all is being 3D unveiled from within the mass consciousness. Remaining the observer and holding true to our source code matrix is vital for all starseeds. It is why you have arrived, to master 3D elements and bring the mana down from the heavens. Hold space as dense energies dislodge and shatter any and all fragmentation, generating and perpetuating holographic inserts and inconsolable trauma, trapping devices within the 4D constructs and constraints of illusory play. In this way, discerning vibrational references and upholding crystalline frequency is key at this juncture. Our molecular merging and alchemical infusion co-creates through the abiding universal principle of unabridged unification. The divinity held in nature continues to support us in accessing source code retrieval and restoration via the unification codex held within the living libraries of the Galactic Gaia, always remember, and lest we forget. Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z, removes Hertz, H-U-R-T-S. Take flight, take flight, soar to great height, in the sea and on the land with your hand, increase and expand your innate frequency band. Raylene Brady, knowing this as truth is our roller coaster relief, Cosmic crystalline sound abounds within our natural state of morphological resonance. In this way, morphogenetic cohesion prevails. We got this. True self in perpetual high heart union with source equals source code. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christine Day, Pleiadian May 2022 message. Beloved ones, we greet you. There is a gathering momentum of brilliance building around your earth. From across the entire universal multidimensional plane, we get to witness a series of transforming light patterns emanating outwards from your planet like a heartbeat. This pulsing is arising from within the magnetic core of your earth, and this pulse carries a potent frequency aligning your planet to the natural communion frequency that exists throughout our resident universe. Earth is returning to the whole, to the sacred communion community which has always existed within our universe. The entire universal community is witnessing this energetic event. This is the sign that we have been waiting for Earth to accomplish a certain level of energetic resonance. And you, those of you on the path, have been instrumental in this happening. Through your collective hearts, the mirroring of what has been rebirthing within you has created a changing of your consciousness, which has been made manifest at this juncture. This shift in the Earth's vibrational gateway allows us, those of us from the galactic community, to begin a more complete method of communication to you, and in turn also from you to us. This is an essential next step in the plan for you, through the initiation of the deepening connection to and with us, you will fulfill aspects of your destiny of awakening that sets in motion the self-realization of a next step of the new dawning prophecies. We are neighbors with all beings from earth, and this is the time for the fulfillment of another level of conscious collective connection with those of you who are ready. 
The Stargate's vibrational light doorway has opened further to support these prophecies and is currently shedding its light across the planet by accelerating its transmission outwards. There is a new formation opening through this transmission, what we call a constellation of divine light flooding across your planet. This constellation is interacting within the magnetic core of Earth, creating an acceleration of further unveiling of alternate reality states creating an increase of returning moments, which is designed to transform your heart structure by creating a higher framework frequency that allows the Stargate's transmission of communion to flow within you. The Stargate frequencies are here to support the transmutation of your consciousness, to enable you to open within the vast makeup of love which is essentially your true nature to move you beyond the mundane illusion and allow love to flow freely within your life. These higher vibrational flows within you are going to allow a natural forging within the galactic and universal community. Your systems are ready to handle the expansive communion frequencies, which are an aspect of communication. Your telepathic center within your brain is operating through a higher network each time you are being realigned within the returning moments. What is essential is that through your heart's desire, you choose to return to your galactic roots, to your family of origin off-planet, for you to choose to align to the sacred design destiny mission of working within the galactic community for the ultimate fulfillment of humanity on Earth. The hand of the divine is leading the way. Stay focused on releasing all old energies that no longer serve you, you are being called to spend moments in stillness to align with your heart and allow an alignment of transformation to be set in motion within your systems. Remember this time is about you consciously choosing to change, letting go and moving within the new rhythm of these higher frequencies. To begin a transmutation process within your experience, transmuting fear into love. When fear arises within you, this is simply a call for love to be made manifest in that moment. You hold the keys within your heart to unlock the wisdom, the knowledge which is designed to create a deepening understanding of your full place that exists within this changing sacred arena. This is sacred design of destiny for you to open into another level of receivership of your full power of self. For you, the focus must be on yourself. You are your heart to begin to glimpse the vast arena of your power from within, to choose on behalf of yourself. These changes that are operating within your heart cell structures are unfolding a platform to springboard your consciousness, to bring about a monumental change in the way that you can actively exist in the world and within the universe. Shift the perspective of your awareness of home from global to universal, through your realignment to simple moments of beauty, of truth, a new pathway of being can make itself known to you. At this juncture, be aware of the opportunities that are all around you by allowing moments of stillness in your day. This way you will be able to truly utilize all the gifts surrounding you. Within the stillness, open into a space of gratitude for the sacred divine time that is opening outwards, like a petal of a flower opening to the sun. More is being revealed to you as you choose to open your awareness. Be like the flower, the petal receiving, taking into yourself the day-to-day -day sacred moments that contain the light, like the rays of the sun. Within the simplicity of the moment you reach with your awareness, to be fed by the multidimensional light that has always existed that still awaits you now. Each one of you are a unique collective part of the sacred consciousness pattern, which is opening between every heart. Your hearts have undergone a metamorphic process through the transmissions of light that have been coming from the magnetic core of the, your earth. You are now holding a new electrical frequency within your heart cells and the stargate transmissions are continuing to reawaken a multidimensional light structure within you. These electrical shifts are designed to support you in the launching of yourself during this recent transitional opening. This is what we have been referring to as returning moments, which are a collective action, a series of alternate reality spaces opening simultaneously to enable you to re-enter higher spaces of consciousness. 
During this reveal of the returning moments, your ego mind becomes disconnected, which allows you to open within an altered reality experience with no interference from the misperceptions of the ego mind. This process is naturally unfolding whether your ego mind is aware of this or not. These moments of unveiling within the multidimensional networks of the alternate reality spaces are being revealed throughout your planet for you to be launched within the next phase of your transmutation process. There is a higher resonance opening through your heart structure and this resonance is steadily mirroring these higher consciousness frequencies across the planet. Each conscious heart is forming natural realliances with the sacred sun. This is the perfect design to allow your ongoing transmutation and Earth's continued expansion. Your heart and the sacred sun are now interacting with the magnetic core of the Earth. Your heart is a multidimensional tool, the doorway to your power. Your heart is destined to play a significant role in the unfolding destiny of Earth. Every human heart holds a magnificent potential, a unique light and your collective light patterns form a sacred synergy for the ultimate transformation of Earth's consciousness. This is the plan which is unfolding. Do not be dismayed by the play out of drama within your planet. The third dimensional illusion is strong. The drama will continue to build in momentum. Witness what is taking place, however, do not engage energetically within the human drama. The drama is inconsequential to the inevitable outcome of success on your planet. Choose to let go and simply be a witness for this time of great drama. Expect the unexpected and stay steadily connected to the truth within your heart. Create building blocks within your heart. Allow the vastness of your own power to be your guiding light. Let go and choose to trust. You can depend on that which is within your heart. Be still within your heart. This time is about you rebirthing you. Remember you are who you have been waiting for. Yes, we continue to hold the platform steady for all of humanity and actively for those of you who are ready to align to make another turn of the wheel. There is no mystery here, simply the requirement to build your path home through your heart. Within that pathway, your next steps are assured. Blessings, the Pleiadians, from ChristineDayOnline.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Acura YT. Dear Lightworker, dear Starseed, stop waiting. You are enlightened and purified enough. Each of us carries wounds and scars. None of us are a hundred percent healed and purified. You are spiritual even if you don't meditate, channel, or have tarot cards. You are born spiritual and we leave this world that way. Do what you feel in your heart, then you are already awakened, purified, and spiritual enough. Your soul becomes one with your mind and body. See with the eyes of your heart. Let go of all the limitations in you and meet this one moment with everything you feel. Everything you feel is spiritual and enlightened enough. Feel your true emotions and let them flow. Many people think that they have to do this or that to be spiritual. If I don't do that, then I don't belong. So I need a lot of crystals. I need to meditate and do yoga because only then am I spiritual. Already begins the inner cage and limitation in yourself. Do it only if you really want to do it. True healing you will experience within yourself. True healing you will experience by doing what your heart tells you to do. No one can take this process away from you, not even your galactic family. You are great the way you are. The answer is within you. You are incredibly powerful. Remember this inner strength and everything else serves as support to live your soul essence. Now you are already a divine being. Now and at any time. That is for me the simple secret of your spiritual journey on earth. I thank you. I see you. We are all in this process. Your soul is speaking to you in every moment. Thank you all for being here. Live yourself because your soul wants to express itself in every moment you have. You are loved. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurora Ray, signs that the universe is trying to communicate with you. Dear ones, have you ever wondered if the universe is trying to send you a message? Sometimes it's hard to tell with the endless barrage of cosmic messages we receive all the time. 
You may or may not be someone who believes in a higher power. You could be devout, agnostic, or atheist. Regardless of your spiritual orientation and beliefs, you can't deny that sometimes the universe sends you a sign. I'm talking about those moments when you experience something so moving, so magical, and so unbelievably coincidental that it can't possibly be by chance. There are some signs that the universe has a message for you and that it's been sent directly from source. Call them synchronicity, signs, omens, coincidences, or messages from your angels. Synchronicity is an event that occurs at the same time as another event with no discernible link between them. Synchronicities are very common signs from the universe because they're easy to spot and difficult to ignore. You'll notice synchronicities especially when you have an intention. For example, let's say you've been thinking about someone for days. Then when you walk into the office on Monday morning, there's an email from them in your inbox. Or perhaps you're looking for a new car and then suddenly all your friends begin telling you stories about their new cars. Synchronicities are fun because they're very entertaining signs from the universe. They also serve as powerful reminders that our thoughts have far more creative energy than we realize. It can be difficult to know whether the universe is sending you a message, but with a little know-how, you'll be able to understand what the universe has been trying to say to you. The universe communicates with us in a number of ways. Sometimes the messages are subtle, sometimes they come in a flash of inspiration or a moment of wisdom. Sometimes they arrive in the form of a person or an animal or a stroke of luck. Do you ever get the feeling that the universe is trying to send you a message or maybe more than just one? That's a good thing. I've compiled a list of some of the most popular signs people have received from the universe. You keep seeing the same number sequences everywhere. It's on clocks, street addresses, license plates, and phone numbers. You feel compelled to get up and do something, start a new business, make an important phone call, or take action on an idea that's been percolating for a while. The only thing is it doesn't make sense to anyone else but you. You have a dream about someone and then run into them later in the day, or you have a dream about what happens next in your current situation and it comes true. The same song keeps coming on, whether it's the radio, an ad, or your friend's playlist. A song on the radio seems to contain lyrics that speak directly to you about what's going on in your life right now. You get goosebumps when it comes on because it feels so personal. You see an animal or animals. You hear a particular word or phrase over and over again. You have a dream that you can't stop thinking about. You flip to a random page in a book and find something meaningful. Something doesn't feel right. Your gut tells you something is up. Someone says something that feels like it was just for you. You start singing or humming a song, and then you hear it shortly after somewhere else. You see a certain animal more often than usual. It could be an actual animal in real life, but it can also be an animal totem online. Final words. The universe is consistently trying to tell you something, and it's up to us to learn how to listen and decipher. Although these signs may seem insignificant, when they are happening, they are important changes that need deeper reflection. These signs can act as a reminder to the more subconscious parts of the mind to listen to and act upon some important messages that may have previously been forgotten. Utilizing these signs is important because they provide a non-verbal way to communicate with yourself, thus offering a useful avenue for handling issues regarding self-growth and development. Looking at your dreams as well as coincidences can help you gain deeper self-awareness and acceptance. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the galacticfederation.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code Suddenly karmic situations are leaving your life this can be an internal knowing and understanding bringing peace and or external changes bringing balance your heart is now expanding to receive the new loving opportunities entering your life be open to God's plan and how all the changes unfold Connecting to Him will help you navigate through these changes with an evolved, wiser perspective. 
It may be necessary to open up to being seen, social, and more active. You are safe to keep going into new directions, careers, moving, travel, communication, and connections. Any fears of conflicts are to be met with love and mothering of your inner child. Override the trauma and abandonment wounds that kept you small and attracting disappointments in the past. You've healed that and are ready for the new doors that are opening. You are going through major transformations that are bringing you to your destined calling. Have faith in all that's surfacing to the light. Receive the cleansing and healing so you can let go of past hurts and rise into who you truly are meant to be. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from here in the moon astrology, I'm restless. Things are calling me away. My hair is being pulled by the stars again. Anai Nin. The great release. As May opens, we are surfing a great wave of pure potential and a turbulent ocean of extraordinary power. Saturday's stunning Venus-Jupiter solar eclipse at 10 degrees Taurus flung open the gateway to two weeks of seismic geomagnetic activity, which will culminate at the potent total lunar eclipse at 25 degrees Scorpio on May 16th. These existential eclipses are influxes on steroids, accelerating the process of changing consciousness and deleting the past as they go. Just feel the energy shift today as Venus enters pioneering Aries, amping up as Jupiter aspects Pluto on Tuesday before the Sun conjuncts unpredictable, volatile Uranus and Taurus on Thursday, May 5th. Feel your sensory acuity and intuition being defragged, swamping you with messages, synchronicities, and downloads from the ethers as the April Jupiter-Neptune tsunami floods your psychic receptors. Because your shifts are no longer coming through mind, you may be feeling lost, dispersed, scattered, or fragmented. Your old control and command center is being disabled. Notice how, without any conscious intention, your entire trajectory is realigning itself in a completely different direction. Aspects of yourself that you have never before encountered are being fused together in the service of something much more radical, much more ancient much more compelling than you have ever imagined. Let go of trying to make sense of where you are being pulled. Just follow your instincts and begin to create, nurture, grow and build something lasting and beautiful, no matter how small or private, attuned to the deeper intelligent unfolding coming through you. Trust and dance with your unique rhythm of create, manifest, withdraw, incubate. Live from your infinite creative potential, not from the history of your past creations. From here on the moon astrology.co.uk And from Divine Sister of the Late, Debbie Edwards. A pragmatic approach in communication matters for the moon in Gemini, May 2nd to May 4th, 2022. Today the moon moves into the air sign Gemini, in which it will conjunct with Mercury in Gemini today as well. The moon and Mercury are going to have us revel in deep thought. The moon pulling from our subconsciousness will inspire Mercury to communicate all that needs to be said. This is a time in which we can be thankful with the cosmos for helping us say what we've struggled to say so we can gain closure, reconciliation and resolution in difficult situations. We may receive texts, calls or emails from people we've been hoping to hear from who want to reach out and make amends. We may also hear from people we've tried blocking in the past, who still feel a need to get the last word. This is important to pay attention to because we are now in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, which will start out in the sign of Gemini before it moves into Taurus. We may also hear from institutions, companies, or organizations we've been waiting to receive correspondence from in regards to applications we've submitted. This may be good news involving career changes, education, insurance programs, or financial investment portfolios. Mercury, the planet of communication, is the ruler of Gemini. And when a planet is in its home sign, its attributes and energies are truer to nature and more intense. Perhaps we can expect vivid dreams, visions, or epiphanies to come through. We may find ourselves feeling different 
because we have suddenly understood something on a deeper level that has had us puzzled. We can expect to receive answers, moments of clarity, and easier times with self-expression. This is a moment in which our throat chakra is clear and unblocked, and this is important considering the sun is in Taurus, since Taurus governs the throat and the body. This is great news for those who struggle with public speaking, writing, or singing. Communication will feel more at ease, like a gear being slathered with fresh gloss of grease. The key word here is smooth. Thoughts and communication will feel smoother. There could be less awkward moments of silence, stuttering, or frustration over not being able to effectively communicate thoughts articulately. Simultaneously, this will add a glint of sparkle for those who work in finance, mathematics, mechanics, legal services, content creation, video audio production, and things that have to do with multimedia applications. This is a great time to work with formalities and organization of future plans. Anything that could benefit from more rigid structure will have help from the cosmos over the next couple of days. Dream big, but keep in mind the pragmatic and practical approach. The moon and Gemini will be taking turns squaring off with Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Neptune, which are in the signs of Pisces and Aries. Mostly we will see contradictions between Gemini and Pisces energies where air and water face off on ideals, morals, ethics, and inner values. Gemini asks us to be practical, while Pisces asks us to keep soaring into the unknown. Some of us may feel disenchanted by the mundane tasks and busy obligations of daily life, while others may feel a need to escape from them altogether and procrastinate with things that need immediate attention. An example of how this could play out too, especially in family dynamics, are conversations between spouses or parents and children who have differing views on the best ways to make money. One person could be pushing to go into the arts, theater, dance, esoteric studies, theology, etc., while the other could be saying those career choices are risky, that they are impractical and unreliable. One person could be reaching for the stars while the other claims the stars are an illusion of success. Our sun and Uranus and Taurus are making us restructure our foundations, and Gemini will have us investing in our foundations wisely. On one hand, we may be tempted to act miserly and cling to what we have because of the perception of lack. On the other hand, we may not have the discipline to budget properly and end up being careless with our money. Money habits will be addressed. How we perceive wealth, abundance, and the energy of money altogether will be influential this week. We can serve our needs best when we prioritize professionalism and avoid acting on impulse, emotional fuel, or sudden reactions towards change that we don't like. Limiting beliefs may have us thinking life can only be lived one way, whereas the cosmos is inviting us to break through those limitations and recognize there is another way. From Metavisionaries.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus enters Aries. The way we approach our relationships, money, and values shift. Aries is fast and furious, and we're apt to get caught up in the heat of the chase. Take a moment to check in with whether the object of your desire truly speaks to your heart, or whether thrill-seeking is taking over as a driver. Still, this transit encourages adventure and adds a little spice and sass. Sometimes you've got to be direct about what you want. Self-esteem is boosted when you're brave. Cheer yourself on at every opportunity. Give yourself permission to go after what you want. It isn't selfish to put yourself first for a change. State clearly what you like so that you and the universe are sure of your direction. Practice fierce self-love to propel your life forwards. You can attract what you need by being assertive and confident, but don't allow competitiveness to spoil your enthusiasm. There is no comparison to another's journey. Live your life true to you. You don't have to wait to be happy. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Welcome to the Spectral Serpent Moon of Liberation. This is the 11th moon of the Planetary Service Wave Spell. Our planet is an intensified phase of great transition, also referred to as the biosphere-noosphere transition. 
The spectral moon calls on us to dissolve and transmute lower forces and emotions into higher states of being and action in order to assist this process. On the 18th day of the moon, we begin a new spin on Keen 1, Red Magnetic Dragon. We can utilize this time as 260 days to transform ourselves. This 260-day cycle concludes on February 2nd, 2023. 260 days is the approximate human gestation cycle to give birth to something new. Each day on the 13 moon calendar, we activate one of the 260 self-synchronization commands or affirmations that correlate to this 260 keen galactic spin. These daily affirmations are contained in the Star Traveler's 13 moon almanac of synchronicity. The totem for this moon is the serpent, the 13th sign of the zodiac Ophiuchus. The serpent bearer is positioned northwest of the center of the Milky Way opposite Orion. Ophiuchus is the identified with Asclepius, an ancient physician and powerful healer known to restore the dead to life. The number 13 is key to the circulation of life. Instead of 13 months of 28 days each, the Gregorian calendar distributes the 13th moon as extra days randomly added to 11 of the 12 months. In the pulsar cosmology of the wave spell, the 11th position or tone completes the second dimension sense pulsar that began in the third moon, the electric moon of service. In this 11th position, we dissolve and liberate all that no longer serves the highest in our lives. Noah's letter number 153, lawoftime.org. Cosmic history quote for moon 11 day 1, Offer your ego body and all of its attachments to the ether to be absorbed and dispersed through infinity. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 244, Yellow Planetary Seed. The number 10 is called planetary and its keywords are manifest, perfect, and produce. The 10th step of any wave spell is about manifesting what you need. It provides perfect opportunities. We are still in the Blue Eagle wave spell and so by now you should be closer to a vision if you have been following the wave spell day by day with intentions set from day one. The wave spell agenda is always prominent throughout and the days along the way are like stepping stones. Day 10 is important and really yields results. Today is yellow seed. Keywords associated with it are awareness, targeting, and flowering. Yellow seed days are about sharing wisdom and planting ideas. People born on these days are very good at this, but we can all strive to sow awareness. If you have learned a valuable lesson, share it with someone who could benefit from your experience. It's true that you reap what you sow, and on yellow seed days, you get the chance to see things flower that you've previously planted, including ideas. Some things take time to come to fruition. Things may manifest today because in the past you planted seeds. If you want to manifest things in the future, you must lay the groundwork today. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Planetary Seed, 10 Khan, Keen 244. 2nd of May 2022, Manifesting Flowering, Planetary Awakening. 2 5 2022 equal 2 5 6 equal 2 11 equal 2 2 equal 4. 2 2 New Earth Partnerships. Day Codes 2 Twins Cooperation Partner Duality. 4 Form Structure Foundation Earth Angelic. Month year codes, 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Movement, 6, Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility, 11, Illumination, Portal, Gate, Polarity, 2, Twins, Cooperation, Partner, Duality, 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision, 22, Architect of Peace, Master Builder, Keen 244 equal 10, Manifestation, Power, Leadership, New Beginnings, a very powerful code for manifestation through awakening to our sovereign power as the new leaders through our divine partnerships. The 13th vertical column of the sacred Zolkin calendar in which we are traveling symbolizes the opening of the crown chakra of ourselves and our planet. 
The planetary seed is calling us all to awaken to our divine missions. Step up and take the reins. It is time to lead by example. Nine months ago, Keen 244 occurred on August 15, 2021. On that magical day, we had a divine celestial sign. A great astrological grand cross configuration occurred in the heavens above, which marks as a divine sign heralding our Christic templates were activated that day as children of the sun. The planetary sunflowers truly blossomed that day into star blessed suns. Day 10 in the Blue Eagle wave spell, we were being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture so that we can create it. Envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for the sleeping masses to wake up. Today, the eagle's power of being able to create our greatest vision is being super amplified with the planetary tone of manifestation. Today, we can easily manifest on a global level, manifesting greater awakening. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm. Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The 10th day of the Blue Eagle wave spell is the one that manifests. This is the state of perfection of all we imagine possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we reap what we have sown, creating our vision in the physical realm. The visionary Blue Eagle allows us to see the potential in things on a much larger scale, global and galactic. This gives us confidence, enabling us to leave the confines of the nest and stretch our new found wings, discovering new horizons so that we can grow to great heights. Rise up, beloved star, bless suns, and fly high up beyond the planet and into the far galaxies. Gaia is strongly calling all planetary wizards to unite in their collective visions of utopia today. Let's do it. Let Gaia reach her highest potential too. Today's questions are how can I awaken my divine will, perfecting the manifestation of my greatest vision, in order to flower and attain my highest potential? How can I use my leadership and influence to awaken others to the divine plan of, for our planet? in order to perfect the manifestation of our utopian timeline. Divine blessings for extraordinary global awakenings. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 244, Yellow Planetary Seed. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to target, producing awareness, I seal the input of flowering. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of free will. And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and click the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Ariel, Elliot, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Irene Mar for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Regina Diamond Seeds for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. And I'd like to also thank our Divine Sister of the Light, Ellen Edgerton Faust, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to join us and help support us in our work, you can make a monthly pledge at our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Rita Minster, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister, for your continued support. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account 
at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, goddess totems, and other work of art at lunagoddessart.com. And she has a 25% off sale until May 8th for Mother's Day. So be sure to take advantage of that and get your mama something nice for this coming Mother's Day. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our 17th dimensional beings of light through the Pleiades star system. Pleiades 1 messages May 2nd, 2022. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Special chants continue to be echoed. Old customs continue to be discontinued. Field assessments continued by Ashtarans. Divine provisions continue to be taken. Magnetic reintegrations in progress. Special revolutions keep happening in the mystical environments. 21 plus 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 approved and intensified in transcendental crossing and neutron. Support 29% non-regressive. 21 plus 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 approved and intensified in transcendental crossing and neutron. Reverberation 29% non-regressive. Solar expansion happens. Winds of change keep blowing. Neva plus R plus 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 13th Akashic projector aimed for support assessment. 29% non-regressive. Next, greater than 14, forecast of 19, plus, 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 authorized, Yebin Kao. Attention, Neva, reverberation of certifying codes, plus, 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 92% non-regressive, temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1, powering chamber, from DisclosureNews.it. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Keep rising in the honor and the glory of the light. Keep moving forward as we continue to go through and through and through until full compression breakthrough. Keep walking your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and all days the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.